God used Moses mightily and was very cogent what Peter said. Perhaps we should build a tabernacle to Moses. But no, Moses is not the one. Then he said, well, maybe we should build a tabernacle to Elijah. Here's another mighty, mighty man used of God, a man just like we are. But when he prayed to God, God closed up the heavens for three and one half years. It did not rain. And he was a man of faith just like you and I. In other words, what I'm saying, if you and I have enough faith, we can pray to God and Lord can work mighty miracles through our life. Elijah did many things. He healed people through the word of God. He was a mighty man, a man used of God. However, no, he is not one that we should build a tabernacle to. As Peter was in the midst of his discourse, it said a big cloud shone round and about. And all of a sudden, they just went down to their knees. They were frightened. And then the word of God came forth from heaven and said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And then when they looked up, they didn't see Moses anymore. Even though they were seeking to glorify him. They didn't see Elijah anymore. Even though they were seeking to glorify him. All they saw was Jesus only. And Jesus said, get up. Don't be afraid because I am here. Saints, we have to look to Jesus only. He is the only one that we must glorify. He is the only one that we must exalt. Because the Bible says before the earth was formed that he spanned the worlds and the heavens alone and by himself. And he's not going to share his glory with another. We must seek Jesus. When Paul was in Greece and, and, and he saw the people involved in all type of idolatry, they wanted to worship this and they wanted to worship that. They wanted to fulfill their need to worship just as we are today, seeking to fulfill our need for worship. And when they had exhausted all of their possible idols that they could fathom in their minds, they made an idol to the unknown God just in case they missed someone. But Paul said, you off on the wrong track. I'm gonna tell you who the known God is. I'm gonna tell you who the true God is. I'm gonna tell you who the only God is. And his name is Jesus, only Jesus. There are many, many perceived gods today, but the only wise God, the only true God is Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess in heaven and in earth to the glory of God that Jesus is God. No other God except Jesus. He was in the beginning with God. And by him was everything made that was made. And without Jesus, nothing would even exist today. And it said he became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as of the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Only there's a lot of men that we have lifted up, but now they're dead. They're dead and they're still in their graves. But only Jesus lived for 33 and a half years. Only Jesus died on the cross. Only Jesus became sin for us who knew no sin. He was in all ways tempted as you and I but yet without sin. Only Jesus went down to hell and led captivity captive, took the keys of death and hell away from the adversary. Only Jesus got up from the grave three, and a, three days later of his own power, of his own might, of his own spirit, and said all power in heaven and earth are in my hands. Only Jesus can do that for you. Only Jesus can take a sinner person involved in the muck in the mire pick him up turn him around set his feet on solid ground only jesus can take your sins which are like scarlet and wash you as white as snow only jesus is one that sticks closer than a brother 
He's the only one that will stick closer to the brother. He's the only one that's going to be a lawyer in the courtroom. He's the only one that's going to heal your body. He's the only one that's going to make your family situation right. He's the only one that's going to heal your broken heart. Only Jesus. We must look to Jesus and Jesus only. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to serve him, Jesus, and Jesus only.